Welcome to Introduction to Functional Programming in Haskell. This is going to be a very brief overview of the schedule and content of this course. This course draws heavily from Haskell Programming from First Principles, which is a text available at haskellbook.com. It's very well written, and I highly recommend you check it out. However, the ordering of topics and time spent emphasizing certain subjects in this course differs from that in the book. Also, this course is designed to fit into a standard university fall or spring semester. The intended audience of this course is different from that of the book. The book is more geared towards people with potentially no programming experience. This course is intended for people with experience in computer science or a related field. It's going to be moving a little more quickly through certain concepts than the book does. As such, I would expect people taking this course to have discipline self-study or university education in computer science concepts like data structures and algorithms, as well as previous non-trivial programming experience. I would expect someone who takes this course to come out of it with a strong understanding of functional concepts and design techniques, as well as an enhanced ability to take advantage of tools intended for use in a functional context. Also, this course could use any language for its implementation exercises, but it happens to use Haskell. As such, I would expect someone to come out of this course with strong implementation skills in Haskell. If you're ever having issues with questions you can't seem to find the answer to, there are great support communities out there for functional programming in general, as well as Haskell. Just take a look around for Slack or IRC channels. In particular, the Reddit Haskell community is well organized and very helpful. On a different note, the release schedule of this web series is very tight, and there's little to no time to spend on production. As such, presentation format and visual design are extremely minimalistic, and audio quality will be bearable. You can expect higher quality work in the future. Here's a look at our weekly schedule. Topics are listed alongside their corresponding chapters in the book. If you're reading along in the book, which I highly recommend, you should read the chapters before viewing their corresponding lectures. Also, chapters listed in parentheses are deemed unnecessary in the context of this course. You should read them if you have time, but they are not emphasized. Also, there will be a final project assigned at the end of this course. More on that later. Now, let's dive in on the real content.